Hello and welcome to another episode of Infobots. This is episode number 036, and I am your host, author Frederick Fishman, where today and every day we are sponsored by me. So for links to all of my books, apparel, and gear, go to my main Infobots website at infobots.com, spelled with two T's at the end, infobots.com. You can also help us out and show your support by visiting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com forward slash Infobots podcast. Okay, let's get started. For several decades, scientists have been firing lasers at reflectors left on the surface of the moon. They were left there by Apollo moonwalking astronauts. It takes, by the way, approximately 2.5 seconds for the laser beam to make the round trip. But recently, they've been tracking the round trip, taking a bit longer each time they fire that laser beam. The rate of growth or distance is about 1.5 inches per year. They've been tracking this drift for about 51 years. The reflectors were left there by Apollo 11 in 1969 and Apollo 14 in 1971. Each reflector is made up of 100 mirrors called corner cubes. In 1972, Apollo 15 crew set up a 300 corner cube reflector. Over the years, the reflectors have been returning a smaller and smaller percentage of light, probably caused by moon dust buildup. The dust is made airborne by the micrometeorite hits on the moon surface. The slowly increasing gap between our two bodies, the Earth and the moon, is caused by the gravitational interactions between the two bodies. This laser measuring experiment has been going on since 1969 at four observatories since the first moon landing by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. The observatories are in New Mexico, France, Italy, and Germany. Besides measurement of drift, the experiments have also helped to determine the orbit, rotation, and orientation of the moon which has helped with other non-manned missions to the moon over the years. So, now you know. I want to thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Infobots podcast. Please support our efforts here by going to our Patreon website, which is at patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Infobots podcast. Join us again for another episode of the Infobots podcast. Bye-bye.